Uh, hey guys, I just thought I'd show you a the latest project that I've been working on. Uh, it's going to be an Arduino controlled tracking to it. Um, so basically I ordered all the bits off eBay including these uh, pan and tilt servo mount. Uh, these are the Tower Pros MG995. Uh, you have to be careful which ones you get of these. Uh, some are fake and not of very good quality at all. Uh, but these I believe are real. So I assemble the mount, the pan and tilt system here. And I just cut a um, piece of MDF, I'm not sure what size it is. And then clamped it just onto the bottom like that. So I ordered an Arduino board off eBay and uh turns out this one isn't actually this is a fake. Um so always be sure when you're ordering them uh, that you get a proper one. I was kind of annoyed at this because it cost me the same price as a normal one. Um and uh yeah so but anyway it still does the job. Uh, it came with a USB cable. Um, I also ordered a a parts kit off eBay as well, just with some uh, a plectrum, yeah, um, just with some general resistors and uh, capacitors. Uh, I thought this would be useful. These contain the resistors required for this project. Uh, so on top of here, I bought a. Uh, this is a nine pounds for your automatic electric airsoft box based on the MP5. Uh, little safety there, trigger, and you have the BBs in the top and the batteries in the bottom. Uh, so this fires full auto and it's electric. So the reason I got this was I will be uh, connecting the wires directly from there to an external battery pack after going through the Arduino board. Uh, so the, this, um, the motor inside here effectively acts as a third servo. So you've got pan tilt and which is all controlled by the programming that um, you've loaded onto the Arduino platform on your PC. Uh, so that's going to be mounted on there. Um, it's all going to be connected to this. I'm going to put, place it about there. Um, I'll go into more detail about the software part of it in part two. Um, but anyway, this area here was to mount a webcam. Uh, this goes into the computer and is uh, what actually allows the system to track whatever the object is moving in front of it. Um, so um, I drilled a um, few holes and uh, I kind of regret doing that because it doesn't look very neat and uh, it ended up being a, about a few millimetres off the surface. So I'm going to make this base again, uh, square off the edges a bit and probably use hot glue. So thanks for watching that, I'll um, stay tuned, please subscribe for part 2.